Let's look at making transparent graphics on an iOS device, today on My Favorite Things. The easiest way for us to make transparent graphics in iOS is by using an app called Keynote. Keynote's available on the App Store, it's free download, and it's Apple's version of PowerPoint, basically. It's available on all uh, Apple OS's, including iOS and iPad OS. I'm going to start by bringing in, adding the plus, and going and choosing a photo that I've already uh, had in my camera roll. This is a graphic that I created. It obviously has a white background, black text with a, a highlight through the YouTube channel logo that I keep. And what I want to do is choose image and then instant alpha. Now instant alpha will remove any background from what you hover over and drag across. So hover over the white space and drag across until you see what's being removed. And that will then give you transparency through the part that you've just removed. I'm going to go ahead and do that for each of these little pieces of white that are in the inside of these letters and what we'll have once we get that done uh, is a transparent graphic of my logo I'll change the background here so that you can see that it is in fact transparent uh, changing that background is as easy as selecting nothing on the slide and then going into the paintbrush to edit the background and now as I change the background everything changes uh, except that one piece looks like I missed underneath the A so let me go back in and change that it's in the paintbrush choose image and then instant alpha and then drag across the spot that you want to be transparent now the key to making this transparent a transparent graphic in any other place is exporting this slide as a picture, as an image, but choosing it as a uh, transparent background. Now, I don't have the transparent background here yet because my slide still has a background. It has that gray background behind it. So what I need to do is cancel this, go back into nothing selected and choose the paintbrush. And now in the background section, I can choose no fill. That's the key. I worked with that gray or that white background to start with because black text doesn't show up very good on a, on a no fill because it, it defaults to black as no fill. Uh, not the color, it's just what it does. Now I can go into export, I can choose images, and then I have the option, once I choose PNG or TIFF, to use a transparent background. It doesn't show up for JPEG either way, but in PNG and TIFF it does. I now choose export. It's going to give me that warning because there's a font missing, whatever. And I can save that image to my camera roll, to my album, or I can go, I can scroll down and I can send it to LumaFusion, or I can, I can save it to files if I want to put it on iCloud so it's accessible to uh, all my devices. But for now, I'll just save the image so it will show up in my camera roll when I go to use it in any other application that I might have. Let me duplicate this slide and we'll do another, uh, another example of what we're talking about here. Now I'm going to choose a background so that I can see what I'm working with. Tell you what, let's pull that same image back in so you can see that once I go back and use it for anything, it is in fact transparent. So you see there is no background associated with, uh, with this logo now that I have saved it as a transparent uh, PNG. So I changed the background and obviously there is uh, transparency to what I've built here. It doesn't make any difference what background I choose. I can choose any of these that are built in and you can see that it's a uh, it's a transparent image now. Now let's see what it's like to take the background out of an image that we have permission to use. Instead of uh, text that we've created, let's go in and find a graphic that we might want to use in uh, in building something. 
maybe in making a new logo or, or creating a, a, an image that will go on our live stream. So I'm going to go into Google. I'm going to do a Google image search. I'm going to search quickly for baseball. Now when I do a Google image search, I always go into tools and then I choose usage rights and Creative Commons licenses, so that what I'm using is not uh, is is not something that I'm stepping on the toes of somebody else who made this and and would like to to be compensated for what they made. So these images should be uh, maybe not public domain, but they are at least uh, images that can be used. I'm not trying to make any money off of it, so I I feel comfortable with picking a a baseball image out of this set. And, and using it. Now, here's a white baseball on a blurred background. And we'll take this and I'm just simply going to copy it. That'll be a, a, a right click on the trackpad on my keyboard uh, and then paste it into this slide. Now, the edge of this baseball is not incredibly well defined, so it's not going to be quite as easy as the text was to get the background out of it. But if I go back into image, and I choose Instant Alpha, I can drag outside that circle and it will start pulling background out. But you see, because of the gradient of the different colors that are there, it's not pulling uh, as smoothly or as easily as that My Favorite Things logo did. Matter of fact, I can see across the bottom of the ball, I have I've made part of the ball transparent. So let me undo some of that. I can, I can, not quite go as far dragging at six percent is good whenever you got sharp lines but dra dragging it back in toward the circle uh, helps whenever your your gradients are frequent and so uh, you pull it out so it starts and then you kind of push it back in and it'll give you a little bit uh, a little bit more refined area that you're pulling uh, out the pulling the background out of. Now I'm going to crop this so you can see you don't have to go and do every little piece. Once you've got it basically the uh, the outline of what you want, you can just crop out the rest of uh, of the image. Hit done here and you can see it's a little bit rough. That's not perfect. Uh, if I were uh, going to use this, I would not. Uh, I would not leave it like that. When you shrink it down small, you kind of hide some of that stuff. But uh, if I were going to use this baseball, I would go back and clean it up as best I could and and make it as round, so to speak, as as I possibly could. So I I pull that little piece out there, and maybe try to grab this little piece of the background that's sticking to the edge of the baseball there. See, pulling it back down to 4% or 3% or 2% is going to help uh, keep those borders a, a, a little bit um, a little bit better. It's going to keep it from bleeding into the baseball itself. Anytime you get color in the background that is same or really close to color in the image you're trying to keep, you're going to get that same, uh, same bit there. Let's pick another baseball graphic and let's try... Uh, let's try again to do this. Now I'm going to show you when there is already a white background. Let's take this baseball on a white background and see what it's like to pull the white out of it. So you just have the, you don't have a square of white around it. You you have a, a uh, an actual round baseball. Let's copy this one and paste it back into that same slide. Now when I start with... Uh, uh, that image selected, go into the image tab and then choose instant alpha. As I pull off of that circle that, that uh, gets highlighted, you're going to see those edges blur or, or, or overrun. So I'm going to push back into 5, 4, 3, 2% to try to keep from getting any of the baseball itself uh, trans made transparent. Uh, this one would be a very difficult one to try to use. So maybe if I go in and, and try one more time to, uh, to find a baseball with a contrasting background, it's doable. You can see that, that I, I can pull a little bit, but it's just not, it's not going to be quick and easy. And it's, uh, it's, it's going to take a while to get all those little artifacts 
of the background that are left over out. So let's let's delete that one and pull in a different baseball. Here's a white baseball on a good dark green background. That one will work very well for what we're wanting to do if I just want to pull a baseball graphic and make it uh, something that is it has a transparent background. So let's take and, and paste that baseball picture in. I'll make sure it's selected, go into image and then instant alpha and then I can pull pretty liberally there. I mean I'm going to do it in looks like two simple steps. All of a sudden now I just have a baseball there and it's nice and clean all the way around the edges. That's something that we'll be able to use uh, in, a, in a graphic, in a, in, a, in a baseball stream if we want to put it up as a as a, an image in between innings or or you know in the countdown before the game starts that's a that's a good one that we can use there a place we might use it i'll take you into the mevo 2.0 app now i've just got this trained here in my workshop um on the on the the sewing machine that's behind me but uh, if you go into the if you have a vimeo producer subscription and you go in to add an overlay whether that's be an over the shoulder or a bug. And when you choose that over the shoulder, then choose the picture icon there. I'll go in and, and use the logo first. It's, you can resize it. You saw me uh, pinch to zoom in a little bit and, and move it into, uh, into the right hand side of that, uh, that over, the, over the shoulder spot. Then I can, I can check to accept that. And then I can click on what just uploaded to the SD card. And then I can check one more time. And you can see in my monitor window up there at the top, I now have an overlay that is my logo. And I can put myself anywhere else in that, uh, in that slide. So it also works in the bug setting, which is the smaller uh, upper corner piece. And so I can take that same logo and put it there. And it works really well for uh, if, if the background was correct and you could see it better but let's go back into that same baseball slide that we just created let's export and let's pull the background out of it yeah let's uh, paintbrush and then background and then we'll slide over to no fill and now we can go back in and export this slide i only want this slide this time i'll export images and then in my slide range i'll choose just slide two of two i'll choose png or tiff with a transparent background now that i've chosen no fill and then i will save that image to my camera roll And now let's see if we can put that baseball in either the over the shoulder or in the bug spot that, uh, that we have. So I'll create a new bug here. We'll put the baseball there. Uh, resize that just a little bit. Center it back up. Choose the plus. Uh, excuse me, the check mark. The check mark again. And then we'll click on what it is for one more check. And now I have, I have a baseball in that corner. Um, that's maybe not practical but you can see a transparent image that works really well for your live stream if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet would you consider doing so sure does help me know how to produce more content for you